Hey friends and family, Judith with Four Corners from Jade, and I want to do a little react to Unicorn Fudge. So, <laughs> I have a whole bin of it. I guess I didn't need to bring the whole bin. But there you go. A nice span of it. A friend asked me to make her some. I know nothing about fudge. I know a tiny bit of unicorns, a tiny bit about unicorns, but fudge, I don't, I don't, just talking about it and saying it just kind of gives me, I guess, the, what's called the heebie-jeebies, it's just, oh, um, and then fudge alone, like, that's a nice way to say poop, <laughs> so, anytime someone asks me, you want some fudge, I'm like, mm, no, and it just, it honestly sounds like a recipe for a bad experience, because it's just, like, too much sugar, and I don't know. I just have preconceived notions of fudge. I think I've tried it once, like a chocolate that someone picked up from somewhere or someone made. I don't know. But it was a coworker and uh, I begrudgingly tried it and I took a bite and that was it. So now I have this miraculous thing and this is just a sample. So I'm making fudge for my friend for her birthday. How do you say no to that, right? I almost did. I'm sorry, there's extra noise. But there's light out here, so I couldn't film inside. Um, so I made, this is my first round. I've never, ever, ever, ever done this before. Oh my gosh, planes, trains, and airplanes and stuff. I'm waiting for that to pass. This is my first attempt at fudge, first attempt at unicorn fudge, and the recipe I used was the condensed milk, one can of condensed milk, and then three bags of white chocolate, and uh, and there's like white morsels. I don't know what a white morsel is compared to white chocolate, so I chose the white chocolate mor white chocolate chips, and then a little bit of vanilla extract, some salt. I feel like there's one more thing, and sprinkles. That might be it. So I made this mix of sprinkles. There, it's called like sanding sprinkles. There's some white sanding sprinkles and some pinks in there, so it gives it a little bit of a glitter. I don't don't know if it's like glittering for you. And then some little white ones and some multicolored ones that um, I'm gonna get some better shapes for her actual birthday. But I just used what I had on hand, and apparently I had some fun stuff. Fortunately. So because I, these are the little edges, this is to make a straight edge on the actual fudge on my bars. We cut off the edges and this is what I'm going to sample today. Um, I don't know what fudge texture is supposed to look like, so I don't know if that's... To me fudge is supposed to be kind of like fluffy. Um, I've seen fudge and it has like, like a spongy... It looks like a spongy texture with all the little air pockets. So let me know. Is this, does this look like fudge? And then, uh, I imagine it being soft. I've never, again, I don't know. This isn't, and then it's cold outside. It's like 47 degrees outside. So I don't know if it's extra hard because it's cold. Um, it's soft. And that's what it looks like when it broke. I don't know if that's what fudge is supposed to look like. I'm really dreading eating this. I can't, you know how everyone has their irrational fears? It's not necessarily an irrational fear. There's an air pocket. I don't like white chocolate either. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just going to eat a little bite. So it's soft. It's not as hard as it feels. I guess it's, it's kind of squishy. I watch it squish. <laughs> and that's really sweet. It tastes, it tastes like white chocolate. And here's another squish. And kind of crumbly. So I guess it's good. If you like sugary white chocolate with sprinkles. 
um, when I was making it, I had a really low heat because I didn't know if it was going to burn it. So I'm mixing my, my spatula, my little rubber spatula I had. It's a, it called for a saucepan. Well, we didn't have one because someone else was using it. So I had a giant pot in the back and I'm, I'm mixing with my spatula, just mixing, mixing, mixing. So I don't know if I over mixed it. You guys, I'm asking for your help. <laughs> I did. Is it possible that you over mix um, fudge? So I'm mixing it a lot because I don't want it to burn at the bottom. And I'm pouring everything in, I'm mixing, and at first it's just like crumbly. It's not like, I'm thinking it's going to melt in this like, like a nice pudding, creamy, it, it didn't. So it was crumbly for a while, and then we kept going, and I'm, I'm continuously mixing it, and I leave it alone for a minute, but I don't want it to burn, so I'm still babysitting this thing. I had it probably on the stove for minimum 10 minutes, and eventually the bottom started to burn. I'm, I'm playing with the different settings. I don't know what's too high for white chocolate and condensed milk. I don't know what's too low. Um, and then I put the food coloring in. And it didn't, this is very lavendery. Here's another piece. And the picture she sent me was more purpley. So I did uh, the purple, but then I added more blue and it just didn't turn out right. That's what burnt fudge looks like, or my burnt fudge. I don't know if anyone else has burnt fudge before in their life. <laughs> That's what happened. So eventually it turns creamy. And I'm, I'm mixing again, trying to get a good purple. And I asked my daughter, I put parchment paper. So everything says to use aluminum paper, aluminum foil to line your pan. Well, I've heard not nice things about aluminum. So I use parchment paper. And that may have, um, may be the reason why a lot of my edges didn't come out as square. My daughter helped me pour it in there and it started to harden really quickly. Now. I don't know, maybe it's because it's cold or cold inside the, the house or if it's because that stuff hardens quick. So we finally get in there and we're using the spatula to move it about and try and get all the edges in and get it smooth. And it didn't show, like we watched some other woman on YouTube make unicorn um, fudge. I'll probably put her, her link in the description so you can see hers. Completely different recipe. Um, she did teach me that when you do the sprinkles to press it down because if not the sprinkles will just bounce off and just fall off so thanks to her um i have to go find her for you guys and then so we pour it on sprinkles press and it says put in the fridge for two hours we did that and then we pulled the parchment paper out after we removed the fudge from the fridge we laid out the parchment paper and we cut into our little bars so that's how we spent last night. I'm going to give you another span of my first attempt at white chocolate unicorn fudge. It's so sprinkly. I'm going to try and get different textured, more, um, uh, more variety of textured sprinkles um, maybe some fun like butterflies I don't know so again let me know what fudge is supposed to look like if that's it send me um, suggestions because I have maybe three weeks to get this right all right thank you